flow. I want to address the uh, Elodea, the Osmosis Lab. Let me enlarge this on procedures. Let's try this right here. Okay, I want to address this right here. Experiment 3, Osmosis in Living Cells. Okay, so I'm going to reduce this down again. There we go. Now, I've got the microscope out here on the bench. I'm going to go over here to containers. I'm going to get a blank slide, put that on the bench. I'm going to go to materials. And this is where I think you were having trouble, and I had some trouble with this as well. You have to get the LED at just the right spot, and it took it that time. Now, several times before, I tried putting the LED on there, and let me go back and try this. Let's get another slide. There's a slide. Go back to containers. No, go back to materials. And here's the LED, and I had the LED setting close to it, and it didn't like it. And I would try it again, I'd have the LED setting down there, and it wouldn't like it. But if I take the LED and get it just centered right over that, it will take it. Okay? Now, next thing we need to do is put water on here. Water is the same way. You gotta get the water centered right there and it will take it. Okay, there's the water. Now notice right here, if I just set the water right on top of it, it doesn't like it. If I bring the water down here like this, it doesn't like it. So we gotta get it centered on there. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the slide over here on the microscope. There we go, now it's out of focus. I'm going to focus the scope. There we go. I'm going to change objectives. And that looks pretty good. Let's go up one more. Nope, that took it back. Let's go. Nope, going the wrong way. There we go, that looks pretty good. Okay, so you can see the little chloroplast are spread all around there and pushed right up against the wall. Okay, let's take the slide off. And, well, hold on. Matter of fact, if we want to, we can go back here. And if we want to, we can make a photo of that. Look here, it says snapshot, snapshot. So, L O D I in water. Okay, so I'll just hit OK and save that. Let me just save. Okay. So now I'm going to take this off, put it down here. Here's my hypertonic medium. Set it down here. And the instructions tell us to get the dropper. Put the dropper over here. Notice that the hypertonic media is glowing when we get it in the right spot. Okay, so it pulls it up. Now we're going to go over here and we're going to get that in just the right spot. Notice the slide when I brought it down there, the slide's glowing and it says how many drops. I want to put one drop on there. Okay. So I've got my one drop on there. I'm going to put this back on the microscope. There we go. I'm going to focus it again. Okay, there we go. At scanning, let's go up. And actually, that's pretty good right there. You can see that the, the cytoplasm has been pulled away from the cell wall that water has been pulled out of the cytoplasm, the cytoplasm shriveled up, but the cell walls are not alive, and they're just these rigid structures, so they stayed in the same place. So this is what happens when a live cell is in a hypertonic solution. Water is pulled out of the living part of the cell, that part of the cell shrivels up or undergoes what's called plasmolysis. Okie dokie. Well, I hope that helps you with this, uh, with this part of the lab. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions. Goodbye. Oops, I forgot one detail. Let's go back over here and let's take another snapshot of that. Okay, so entitle this L-O-D-A in Hypertonic Solution. There we go. Hit OK. And saved it. And we're good to go. Now we can go ahead and trash everything. Get all this off here and trash it. Da, da, da. 
whoops that one didn't want to go in the trash there we go one more throw that in the trash oh well we'll just go ahead and exit off of here okay once again goodbye